What's going on everybody? Rob here, Trev2323. I got a whole bunch of little video excerpts I am putting up right now, but this is more for colder weather people. And it's what I did in my closets because we're in a 112 year old Chicago bungalow and this is my pantry. But let me show you the wall in my pantry. This is the outer wall. 54 degrees for our outer wall in my pantry. Now let me show you the front closet, then I'm gonna show you the other two closets that I actually uh, put something in. Okay, now this is a non-insulated closet, 53 degrees. And then they sell the styrofoam board. So I don't know if you're familiar with the styrofoam board is. Now this closet, the door is closed, so there's no heat going in here. 10 degrees difference, 63 degrees. And then let me show you the closet. I think this closet door is open. Yeah, this closet door is open. It's in the little playroom. Same kind of insulation. Out the outer wall. 66 degrees 68 degrees and what I did is this is actually oh sorry that's actually styrofoam insulation I taped it with packing tape and it started I think it's half inch styrofoam insulation that I lined all the walls with now if I wanted to be technical I could get like 3 8 inch drywall and put it up over the whole thing and sand it but those are the inside closets and you see the insulated closets, the difference it makes. Now these older Chicago bungalows really have no insulation in the walls. They're just brick and lath, lathe, lath. And that's the difference that the, the styrofoam insulation makes in the Chicago bungalow closet. Check it out.